Well, I'm very pleased to make this presentation of Simultrain. You're going to discover now a marvelous tool used in product management training. It's something like a flight simulator, but you don't fly a plane, but a project. And four people will be sitting in front of this screen. That's the office of the product manager. And what's the situation? Well, this morning your boss, Jeff, came in your office and he told you, you know, uh, Frank, who was in charge of the project, just left the company, you take over. Yes, boss. It never happens like that in real life, but let's assume for trading purpose that it will be, go this way. So you have to take over a project and uh, well, try to grasp some information, uh, click for instance uh, on reports, uh, what can I see here, a product description, it's interesting, what is that? Ah, the project is Ecom, and uh, you can read a description of the project, it's a typical web project in order to give the customer the right to, or the possibility to follow their orders. You've got a couple of milestones, you've got a budget, and a couple of resources. There are three resources in the project that are dedicated to your project. They're also on the payroll. And other people, if available. Yeah, um, good. Now, what can we look at? Maybe let's have a look at the organization chart. Um, just to see where you are in this project. You see here, you, you are here and your boss is Reto. Uh, Reto is a smart guy and very efficient, but be careful. He's kind, but if you are late or over budget, he's impossible. So smaller device, do as always, be on time and within budget. Okay? Good. Well, other people in this organization chart, Catherine in charge of sales and marketing, always wants to sell, to sell you expensive tools, marketing tools, not very useful. Tonio, Tonio is in charge of database and web, he is very professional. He has unfortunately one weakness, he is awfully jealous. In fact, he wanted to have the product in his department, but Jeff, the big boss, gave it to Reto. So Tonio, every morning on his way to his office, buys some bananas, peel them, and wait for you to walk down the hallway. It's, it's dangerous, so be careful. Actually. Rachel, on the other side, is quite smart, uh, in charge of analysis and programming. Uh, just uh, be careful with her. Um, she might be a bit uh, uh, difficult when you talk with her. Jeff, the big boss, uh, is a very smart guy, marvelous guy. But <clears throat> as everyone, he has also one weakness. And that's very common on this level. When he makes a decision, he always uh, chooses the worst option. But else, he's fine. So, that's the environment where you'll have to run your project. Now let's go back to the project, let's go back to the office. Um, <clears throat> what is your task? Well, your first task is to do a planning of the resources. Uh, let's first have a look at the Gantt diagram. You see here Gantt diagram. Oh, yeah, you see that the product has been already planned. You see uh, there are something like 17 activities and the product duration should be something like 11 weeks. But if you look at this diagram, you don't see the name of the people working on every task. So obviously the allocation of the resources uh, hasn't been done yet. And that's going to be your first task to allocate resources to every single activity of this project. In order to do so, well, very easy, click on the button resources and uh, you'll see here a list of all the people working in the company and may be available for the project if they are not busy on something else. But let's start, have a look at Anna for instance. Um, Anna, oh, 
the jewel of the company. She's marvelous, you know, she's lovely, she's brilliant, everybody likes her. And she has marvelous skills. If you look at the top right of the screen, you'll see her skills. She has a 16 web design on a scale from 0 to 6. She has a 5 in database, a 6 in programming. You see, she's just marvelous. So, try to have her for your project. If I want to give uh, Anna some work, I just click on work allocation and I see here a list of all activities of the project. Well, let's imagine we give to Anna activity number two. Click on activity number two and so she will work on this task. Fortunately, she was available. If you look now at the Gantt diagram, you will see that the name of Anna appears on activity two. Perfect. Okay, but remember, there were three people dedicated to the project. Huh? Anna, uh, Fred, Sue and Tim are full-time on the project. So let, let's have a look at Fred, who will be for, working full-time for our project. Curious person who studied history prior to turning to computer science. He only performs the tasks well when all of its step has been well... <clears throat> oh gosh, have a look at his skills. Well, that's not true. Two in web design, two in programming, zero in business, zero seal marketing. What are we going to do with him? Well, this situation will never happen in real life. You know, in a real project, the department always gives you the best people available. Don't they? Okay, so we'll have to cope with Fred. And uh, let's give Fred an activity, for instance, activity number one, uh, specification. Okay, we had other perp uh, people in the core team. Sue was in the core team. Let's have a look at Sue. Um, oh, Sue is brilliant. This is even know what? Oh, perfect. Okay, uh, eventually someone uh, perfect. Okay, and very good skills. Five in web design and foreign programming, so she's great. Let's give her also activity number one, so she will help Fred to do the specification, because Fred alone would be really lost. Let's have a look at the Gantt diagram. You see we have Fred and C on activity one and on activity two, and your task now is to complete this planning and to find people for every single activity in this project. And for that, you have something like one hour time. Now, what's going to happen after that? Well, after that, huh, that's going to be the really thrilling part. We're going to try to simulate the project based upon your planning, with your people, the people you've chosen. And we're going to look what's going to happen.